I want to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious developers just like you and me. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. Skillshare offers creative classes designed for real life in all circumstances that come with it. These lessons can help you stay inspired, express yourself, and introduce you to a community of millions, especially with the uncertain times that we're all living in today. Day. Skillshare is a perfect way for you to brush up on technical skills that you can use to secure your future as aspiring developer. One of the classes that I'm particularly interested in is the hand coding your first website HTML and CSS basics original by Rich Armstrong. And I think this is perfect for building that basic foundation that you need to help you move on to JavaScript and building your own websites on your own. The first 1000 people to click on the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. Once again, thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video and I hope you all enjoy the rest of this video. What is up everyone? Welcome to another video. It's good to see every single one of you right now. I know it's been over a month and a half since I uploaded the video, but I have a very good reason as to why. Well, to be frank and to be straightforward for every single one of you, after just living the life of developer and how busy it is, right? The last 12 months and then trying to run multiple businesses and creating content all the time and coding, etc. I'm not gonna lie. It has led me to the path of burnout. And one of the scariest things in the world is that when you actually make it to that end of that path and you actually burn out, for many people, you reach a point of no return. And that was terrifying for me. And I think it's because I just felt like my life the last year has went from zero to 100 miles per hour. It's just been this back and forth thing of just getting crazy busy and slowing down to crazy busy again nonstop. And to be honest, I've never really experienced anything like this before where no matter what, you just can't push yourself to do anything. And everyone like, when it came to making videos on YouTube, all, I, I would put the camera in front of me and I just couldn't press record. It's scary. It's really scary because I've honestly been feeling this for a minute, especially the last month and a half, two months. I've been feeling it and I just didn't want to accept that it was happening to me. I had no desire to turn on the camera. Feeling this, the last month and a half, I just had to take a break. I had to get away from everything. I didn't want to think of YouTube. I didn't read any comments. I barely responded to messages on social media. It's, it's scary when you reach that point because everyone, I've been creating content the last five years, right? And I never felt this kind of burnout before. And I was scared that this would eventually affect me and my job. And no, my, my job is my main source of income aside from my businesses, which by the way, I'm getting burnt out from that too. So it was terrifying. I actually, today I did some research about burnout because I knew I wanted to make this video. This is something I felt passionate talking about this topic. And and I, I learned that burnout is actually no longer a figure of speech, which is really interesting. But now the term burnout, it's now a literal legitimate medical diagnosis. Now, let, me, let, me, let me show you what I found. This is what it is in regards to burnout. A syndrome resulting from chronic workplace stress that has not been successfully managed. And obviously my workplace is many different things. My three companies, my job, YouTube. It makes sense because and I'll explain in a bit, but man, my life the last year has been insane, everyone. Everyone, I absolutely love what I do, but when this hits you, it hits hard. And, and you know what's interesting? At work and with my friends and family, people have been telling me this, like, Chris, you need to slow down. Like you're running three businesses, you're building three businesses, like, and you're working and you're doing YouTube. People have been warning me about burning out for the longest time. Like Chris, you've been at this for nonstop. You don't even have time to breathe. You don't have time to have fun. And it was just true because everyone, man, I barely had time to read. I remember just bawling and crying on the phone with my girlfriend. Like I, I, I feel so tired. I'm doing this because I know this will help my family in the long run, my future family when I have kids in the long run, but having no time to breathe. <laughs> Like when it's 11 p.m. at night and you want to rest or just relax or talk on the phone with my girlfriend or play games or, you know, you can't because I have an interview. <laughs> 
have to interview employees and do all these different things, right? And, and there are times when I have meetings from 9 a.m. to 1 a.m. I mean, and I'm not making this up. I'm not over exaggerating at all whatsoever to really find out what was the real reason in regards to why I burned out and was heading to burning out in different places. It's because the last 13 of my months have been insane. Like literally from the moment I got laid off from my mid-level developer job to now have been insane. Everyone. I lived in Los Angeles 13 months ago, got laid off from Los Angeles. I moved to Vegas. I come into Vegas. I interviewed like crazy, got a new job after three days. And before that new job, the startup in Virginia, I moved across the country. This is just literally a month or two months after coming to Vegas. I moved from Las Vegas, from LA to Vegas to Virginia, driving 36 hours to Virginia, spending thousands of dollars to go there. And then because the house wasn't even ready yet when I moved to Virginia, I was forced, forced to live in a hotel for about 30 to 45 days. Imagine living in a hotel for 30 to 45 days. How do you wash your clothes, right? Like, where do you live? How expensive are hotels? Because the house was promised to be ready by then and it wasn't. So I had to live in a hotel for 30, 45 days, spending thousands of more dollars. Um, and then I finally lived in that house. I moved there. Everything's cool. I love my job working for this startup, but I joined this startup. I loved it. It was fun. But then one of the managers was toxic, yelled at me in front of everyone. So I quit. I'm like, no, I'm not dealing with this. I value myself too much. I'm not going to be treated like this. I quit that startup only two to three months after moving across the country for that startup. I go crazy. I find a new job in just a couple of days. Now I work for New Relic, a developer relation engineer. But while that was even happening, I left Virginia and moved to Nashville while working for New Relic as developer relations engineer. But at the same time, right, I started building three different companies, a mentoring platform, my clothing company, check out this new shirt by the way, building all these different things, a desk accessory company, all these different stuff, trying to build a media insane library, Christian.io that should be going live like tomorrow, <laughs> trying to build that as well. All these different things, hiring seven different people, then firing multiple people because they're not performing the way they said they would. They're not doing that well or they're just lying to convince me than trying to hire new people, find new people to replace the people I let go. Doing all of this for 12 to 13 months, one year, nonstop. Oh, thinking, just looking back at that, <sighs> man, it adds up. I mean, I can't believe it at all of that, but I see why because five years ago I was homeless. And then after being laid off from my first job ever, I mean, my second developer job that I love, being laid off for the first time, knowing my family was depending on me, knowing they had who could they depend on if I was jobless, I didn't want that to happen again. So I worked two times, three times, four times, five times as hard to the point that now I work double as hard as I probably should work because I just want to make sure I never go back to that ever again. That that worry is in me. Coding nonstop, doing all the stuff, it adds up. It's scary, everyone. And so I guess what happened in the last 45 days after all these different things, it that's what caused the burnout, right? And, and what I mean is everyone, I was in Nashville just literally, what, a month ago? And then my brother left out of nowhere and then I was stuck with a three bedroom, 1400 square foot apartment that cost Twenty five hundred a month by myself, so I had to sell everything I owned there, and then leave Nashville, come back to Vegas after thirteen months. I'm back here now, right? After a year, I guess you could say. And all those different things. It's crazy, right? And so I guess you can tell you, burnout is when you just don't want to do anything anymore. And so I'm so thankful that after we had this amazing conference with New Relic, Future Stack, I took the following week off because I had to move from Nashville here to Vegas. Then the next week, I just took it really slow. But what I noticed is that I just didn't want to do anything anymore, and it's scary because I have been doing YouTube for such a long time and never felt this before and I don't want any one of you to feel this before and so the one thing that really hit me was you know the tragedy happened within my group of friends someone almost died and then a couple of weeks later someone I know of I knew of since high school died and you know me and that person were close in age and started thinking oh my gosh like I can die anytime and I've been focusing so much time and just trying to make so much money and making sure my family's taken care of which is important but I started realizing like yo you need to appreciate what you have now and so what was really killing me was me trying to do so much at once and not just resting or relaxing and then because I was so used to going at 300 miles an hour that when I went 65 miles an hour I felt guilty <laughs> that I was working at a normal I don't know tempo <laughs> I started feeling guilty all the time and so now I need to understand that yo it's okay to work at a normal tempo when you need to I like doing things quick I like getting things done quickly I like doing a lot of things at once I like being busy but now I really need to just calm down and relax I'm back home in Vegas taking care of my family, 
They don't have to worry about rent. They don't have to worry about utilities or any of that. I'll take care of it. My dogs have my parents to watch them. When I'm traveling the world for work, I have no more worries. I bought my dream car, my Porsche. All right, I bought a Porsche, my dream car, something I never thought I could afford. I have everything I can ever want, but now I just need to relax, take it slow. Still go hard, still go harder than everyone else, but maybe just not as hard as I used to. So this is what I'm trying to say, burnout is real. And it just hit me really, really hard. Not to mention, this is the second take I'm making because the first take I made, the audio was jacked up. So I hope the audio works now, <laughs> but I'm back. I know I can tell that you know, I'm not as burned out as I used to be. I'm working out like crazy at the gym with my trainer. I'm more happy. I have everything I could ever have imagine I can ever need. I love my life. I have everything and I'm enjoying making content again, writing blogs, podcasts, talking to y'all. I'm actually responding to comments on YouTube again. I'm actually responding to messages on Instagram and Twitter and everywhere. So if y'all want to hit me up, hit me up there and I'm loving streaming as usual on Twitch. So I'm back. I want to let y'all know that the content's coming. I got 12 topics that I want to talk about, hopefully within this whole entire month that I can give to every single one of you. Anyway, I want to thank y'all for watching, man. It's good to be back. I hope y'all like my new background, my new setup, my new home. And I'll try to do a bedroom or office tour soon, maybe next week. But if y'all made it to the end, please let me know. It mean the world to me. You can let me know. And because I'm just coming back, I'm sure this video won't get as many views as I used to, which is totally fine. It's expected. So if y'all can help me out, like this video to help the algorithm. I appreciate it. If not, it's all good. I still love you. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to end the video right here, everyone. This is Chris Sean. It's Life of Developer and the Map. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.